Donostia, San Sebastian. The Basque Country. San Sebastian is a resort town in the mountains, sitting right on the Bay of Biscay. In this part of the world, soccer is much more than a sport. It's a way of life. Real Sociedad de Football, founded on September 7, 1909. Real Sociedad is an institution that is foundational to the community itself. The club is completely infused into the cultural fabric of the region and into the identity of the people themselves. Real Sociedad, a.k.a. Royalty. This is our guy, Alexander Asak. Asak was born in Sweden to Eritrean parents and is now playing in Spain for a club that represents the Basque country. That's a lot for any 22-year-old. And oh, by the way, he still has to go out and score goals. I'm feeling like a rock star. Feel like landing with all the classics. Oh, I'm Silver is found. Isak and Isak has found the back of the net. And it's full on. What a pass from Silver. What control on the Zander bag. I'm in love with the flex. LAX to the jet. JFK is up next. Ball like I play for the Nets. Rock and roll, cash and checks. I'm the goat in the flesh. I'll make your top five list. I'm on my rock star here. By the bar, I'm a star. By the bar, I'm a star. La Real Sociedad es, es un club, eh, pero, pero trasciende. La Real Sociedad es eh, una manera de, de sentir, es una manera de, de, de vivir, es, eh, es un proyecto de, de territorio, es un proyecto de país, de, 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 de Guipúzcoa, pero es un proyecto de territorio abierto a, a por qué no, eh, el que quiera conocer, el que quiera ser parte, el que quiera vivir eh, esa, ese sentimiento Real Sociedad, eh, pues eh, nosotros vamos a estar eh, abiertos. Es eh. un territorio de 700.000 habitantes con un arraigo histórico muy importante. My upbringing was uh, was very good actually, I would say. I grew up in Sweden, in Stockholm, uh, with two great parents and uh, I also have uh, five siblings, uh, three brothers and two sisters, uh, and I'm the youngest one, so that really helped me a lot uh, to be the youngest one, have, having older siblings to, to check you out, to, uh, to also help you become the man that you are today. Growing up in Sweden as an as a Eritrean uh, felt quite, quite natural uh, for me, as I was born in Sweden. If I was born in Eritrea and moved to Sweden, it would have been different. Uh, then I would have lived in two different cultures. But, but yeah, for me, it felt very good. Uh, I, f I had my parents, yeah, that moved uh, from Eritrea, and of course, it's it's a uh, it's a big move, and it's it's very different for them. Uh, but but for me, uh, growing up, it's been it's been really great having having two different cultures, uh, one one for my family and. Uh, and then being Swedish as well. I think uh, I think it really has a big uh, a big part of my life that that I am Eritrean and I'm uh, I'm really proud of that. Going back to Eritrea in 2018 was uh, was really great actually. It was uh, was my best uh, best trip uh, that I've made. I was visiting my um, my family's village, uh, the people there, and uh, to, yeah, to go back to see my family. And uh, I was also 
uh, visiting the, the football clubs and uh, like a sports center uh, where there was over 300 kids training uh, in quite small spaces and yeah, everyone just enjoying uh, playing football and just enjoying life. So it was really fun for me also to be there and to, to play football with them and, uh, and yeah, it was, a, it was a great experience. Football is, is like the easiest sport to, to play everywhere. Uh, you can see in the villages, uh, in the street, everyone is playing. They make, they make a football pitch out of, out of nothing. Uh, and that's how I was growing up as well. Uh, I was playing football anytime, anywhere. Uh, when I was given the chance, uh, just always had a ball with me and just played with my friends. And uh, yeah, and that's how I fell in love with the sports uh, at the first place. En 1950 la Real Sociedad fundó su primer equipo juvenil, a finales de esa década de los 50 fundó su, su, su equipo Sanse y ese fue el primer paso digamos, de, 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 de construir un itinerario formativo para que la retroalimentación del primer equipo estaría sobre todo basada en, en, en lo que le da eh, su, 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 su sistema. ¿no? Eh, un proyecto, decía antes, transversal, con, con clubes eh, asociados, con clubes convenidos, que forman parte de, 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 del desarrollo de cada uno de los chicos, que, que forman parte de, de una cultura, que forman parte de una manera de, de entender el crecimiento de nuestros, de nuestros chicos y que a partir de ahí, pues que, 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 que de alguna manera abre sus puertas a, a poder ser conocido fuera de, de, de este territorio para que cada uno también pueda elegir si puede ser un, un, un lugar eh, extraordinario para, para poder eh, jugar al fútbol o para poder eh, vivir el fútbol. Yo creo que, que Alex eh, representa pues, el, el buen trabajo de, de, de una unidad de reclutamiento que, que, que lidera Eric Bretos. Representa eh, lo que queremos eh, desde, desde el club, que es, eh, que es eh, crecer con, con gente joven y ser una oportunidad para, para, para gente joven, pero que, que aspire, eh, porque estamos en élite, no lo, no, no lo olvidemos, no queremos ser eh, jóvenes, queremos ganar. Estamos focalizados con que el juego está basado en el balón, el juego está basado en el poseedor del balón. Yo creo que para, para el juego es mucho más importante quién se mueve y quién propone al poseedor de balón, ¿de acuerdo? Y ahí Alex es especial, ahí Alex es un jugador que, que tiene un fundamento técnico extraordinario, que, que te participa en la construcción, que es lo que queremos, pero que Alex, como, 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 como Miquel Oyarzábal, como Cristian Portu, eh, como Martín, como Ander Barrenechea, son jugadores que nos pueden dar pie, pero también nos pueden dar espacio, ¿no? y luego pues, eh, Alex pues, también representa pues, esa, esa adaptación de, de alguien que venga de fuera, de, de alguien que nos elija, ¿de acuerdo? Porque nosotros a Alex posiblemente le expusimos lo que pensábamos de él, lo que queríamos de él, pero fue Alex el que eligió eh, venir, eh, estar y seguir su proceso de desarrollo en la red sociedad. The main reason why I came to, to Spain was because I think the, the football here fits my, my way of playing and I think that would be a great move. So yeah, I adapted very quick and, uh, and I think my way of playing with, with, uh, with my qualities fits very good in, in this type of football. Uh, so I think I adapted uh, very quick and uh, it works very good in the team and in the league as well. It's a big move to, to, leave, uh, to leave the country you, you've grown up in and been in your whole life uh, at, the, at the age of 17 to move to a different country. So it was a big move, obviously, and you needed time to, you know, to get into it and, uh, and, and all of that. But uh, for me, it, it went really good. Uh, I felt I was ready and uh, yeah, I felt my personality also. It, uh, It didn't feel like a problem, so when I got the chance, I took it, and uh, and I'm very happy that I did, because uh, otherwise I wouldn't be where I am today. 
those experiences was uh, very big for me, uh, obviously, to, to be able to, to help my team achieve uh, those great things. Uh, it's, it's very nice and something you're proud of. Um, but at the end of the day, that's something that becomes a memory and that's something you can look back at uh, when you get older and be proud of. Uh, but yeah, you have to move on and you have to get, uh, you have to see new goals and you have to keep working to, to make new stuff like that. Uh, so that's not something that I'm thinking to, to live on or to, to think on too much. Uh, of course, I'm proud of what I've done, but I'm always hungry for more. I mean, lifting the trophy was like, or just hearing the referee blow off the game, it was, uh, it was a happiness, but I think most it was like a relief, you know, to just have done it. Uh, you know, playing the cup last year and then having the break with, with COVID and, and then playing the final a year after, uh, a, Bas a Basque Derby, um, it's really big. And, you know, we've been waiting for that game for so long. So it was so nice to just, you know, have done it and uh, yeah, to see the, the, the people from the city as well, how much they, they care and uh, how much they really wanted that cup uh, makes it even better. And I think, um, you know, the sky is the limit. I don't think too much, I just want to improve for myself and as a, as a team as well. Uh, of course, you have personal goals and you want to improve, you want to get better and you want to reach higher levels all, all, all the time. At the same time, you want to win titles and that's what you do as a team. Uh, so I think we all have a common goal in that. I don't really have to do too much to keep the hunger. Uh, as I said, when you do uh, big, big things and good things. Uh, you enjoy it for the moment, but at the end of the day, it becomes memories, and you want to keep creating those memories. Uh, so, so that's my that's my feeling, and and I don't really have to do too much to to feel that way. So, I think uh, it's in my nature to always always strive for more and always be hungry to to do better. My name is Alexander Isak and I'm a Swedish Eritrean footballer and I play for Real Sociedad.